Hello and welcome to Demo Play First Day. Today we're on the Switch, and as you can see, it's the demo for Pepper Grinder. And it's nice that it says on the front here that it's a demo. You'll be surprised how many games I play, but there's no hint that it's a demo. What have we got? New game, options, English, knock down a little bit, screen shake, rumble, speed, controls. Hopefully they'll teach us the controls, so don't have to worry about that. Let's go straight in, let's see what we get to play. I imagine with these type of platformers is often quite from the beginning of the game. Oh, we washed up on a beach. Oh, there's someone else with them. Pixel art's really quite cool. There's a lot of emotion in her face right at the beginning there. Her hair's bobbing, grass is moving. Look at the animation on the bridge. Okay, it's um, high quality artwork here. Bit of a surprise she knew exactly what it was to be. Just jump. Yeah, I see. Oh, we got full 360 on that. Okay. We can't dig through the whole level. And it's nice that the treasure, or the loot, I should say, is kind of attracted to us. That makes it so much easier. Whoa, what speed? So when you press jump as you jump out, you get this extra burst. This is got some cool controls. It's a little takes a little while to get used to though. You don't have a hundred percent control. It's not like one to one what I'm what I feel like I'm pressing on the controller. So I'm gonna need to try and jump out of the sand. There. <laughs> okay. Probably don't need to attack everything. You see, you don't have the tightest control. I'm hoping that the platforming isn't going to be. Ooh, secrets. Okay, so the game is just used to have to tell us that there are secrets. And that looks like a checkpoint, okay. Now I'm pressing down. Doesn't look like we can look down. Is trying to tell you if I get the angle right on that. B! Yes. Essentially jump. Ah, oh, man. As for as good as it looks, controlling is going to be a big thing about this game. Oh man, we're 
really need this to do all the jumps, are we? Well, I missed one. That's going to have to do because I'm over here now. A little bit surprised the music is as subdued as it is. Ah! Sort of lo-fi beats to play your game to. That's what I get from it. So that's a nice mechanic. Of course it doesn't stay, does it? Almost like the stereotypes of platformers. Oh. Huh. That was lucky. Why can't we hit him? That's the thing. What's that in the background? Was that where we needed to go? I guess so. I'm a little concerned that this first level is kind of long and in this first level we've seen the mechanic with the drill be used a few different ways and I'm kind of worried that we've now seen all the ways the mechanic is going to be used Like the variety, this variety. Sure, but having so much variety this early on means that there's not going to be variety later on. That's my worry. By showing so much now, having levels that are so long, the game has got nothing left or won't have as much left at the end. A nice little add-on for our drill. Well, I hope you guys didn't miss anything because we can't go back. Oh. I was looking underneath the profile on the left there. The drill can't spin that fast at the moment. So it's going to be interesting to see how upgrades affect it. I'm pretty sure we're not going to be shown. But it would have been cool to see in a trailer perhaps at the end like faster drills equal this. Well, there's no hint on this map what the limit of the demo is going to be. The sound effects of the water. Well, the music doesn't really seem to be affected by it, does it? Why is that shaking? Well, that's not doing anything. There's no oxygen counter anywhere. You just see how they do underwater will there be a countdown will there be a sound effect or is there going to be nothing 
There's no bubbles. I guess you can stay underwater as long as you like. It's an interesting choice. Is the grass twitching like that? It's really weird. I was not what I wanted to do, that's for sure. Again, you know, I'm learning, but it still feels like I haven't quite mastered how to control this thing yet. That was going to be interesting. Yes, you can see top, right. We've got one coin now. We missed one somewhere. So the coins are showing where they are, not. So we've got the second out of five. Some games will just show you that you picked one up. I'm kind of happy this shows that, hey, we've missed one earlier. So these guys. I couldn't tell you where the other one was that we missed. Nope, can't get down there. Aha! Just got it. Okay, you can't swim. You have to use the drill to move underwater. That leap, that wasn't me. That's not what I was trying to do anyway. was that? I didn't press anything and it did that. Obviously there's a lot about the controls that this game hasn't taught us yet. Like, what do we do with all this treasure again? No doubt that the levels look cool. Ah, so difficult to control. There's a coin there. Thankfully, restarting is really quick. Okay, we don't need to pick up that coin again. Excellent. Ah, being shot out. So difficult. There we go. treasure stuff for like if there was a treasure chest at the end that we put all the stuff in excellent 
That was a grade related to our performance. Great. Ah, oh, this is so annoying already. I feel like the jumps are being constant, so sometimes I feel like I need to use the boost. And sometimes the game shoots me off like that. Like the way the levels are made, it feels like it wants you to play it fast. But as soon as you try playing it fast, because the controls are so weird, it feels like it's instantly the wrong thing to do. Can't go back. See that level just wasn't fun, and that's really frustrating. So stick a page. How do we view it? Like, if we go to buy something, at least tell us. At least tell us where we can watch it. So, this one's obviously health. So, we can do two more of these. There's no upgrades for our drill, are there? These are stickers for something. But yeah, you can introduce something new. Now I'm wondering if that's locked because that's like story stuff. So bottom left, it's got Y. What's this? What is this? How do I get out of this? This is the sticker stuff. Whoops. Alright, it's like if the game doesn't know that we just bought stickers and doesn't tell us to put stickers here, then what's the point? Even if this is in the main game, that's a bad move. Noted, watch out for the bombs. Well, that already feels like a, a huge leap in difficulty. Why have bombs where you just have puzzle features like that? These pu this puzzle stuff is what this level should be focusing on, not the bombs. The bombs should come in the next level. Trying to get that B thing done. There we go. Oh man, I can, this is going to get frustrating quick. A game with dodgy controls that don't quite 
do what you think they're going to do. Like, if you're not going to have a tutorial about this drill. All it needed was for it to say, hey, this is your first time with the drill, is it? Well, it's going to take a little bit of time to get used to. So later on in the game, when you're naturally better at it, it feels like the drill itself has gone better, but no, it's actually you, your own skill. I know, it just feels like I've been a bit lazy with how little of a tutorial and explanation of how and why things are in this game. Devolver Digital. There's a almost a stereotype that it's a company focused more on how a game looks and rather how it plays. See, now we've got this enemy. So this level has to introduce three new things. It just feels like... Well, they're introducing so much so early. There's going to be nothing left later on. Or it's going to be so much later on. I couldn't tell you what just happened because it wasn't nothing that I felt like I was pressing on the controller. Ah. That's cool. And it's a shame we don't get to have that gun and use it ourselves. Oh, why wouldn't it let me jump? There we go. Let's do it that way around. Whoa. Shot me like a bullet. Fine. Isn't that working? That's, we can so hit that. <laughs> what a strange limitation. Obviously, this is not the thing to do.
got that. So. Oh, I see. See, this level should be all about this puzzle mechanic. And then introduce the enemies to the next level. There we go. Wow, it did not look like we could make that jump. Again, not what I was aiming. Why couldn't I get in there? I think what really would help is if the drill had like a little dot so you could see where it was actually going. Maybe at least that way, or we'll talk with an arrow pointed so you can get a good sense of the direction. Because I still don't understand where some of the where this is going sometimes. And that's it. Thanks for playing. Coming soon to 2024. Sure, sure, no worries. But this is where you'd put screenshots or a trailer. But no, we just have a start again. See, this beginning has so much energy, so much can't almost like passion about it. The iconography, the visuals, and then you play the game, and it's more lo-fi beats to play a game to. The enemies. Fine, but they don't look anything like that. You're just they're just skulls in the ground. So the game that it was how it presents itself here, and you know, what you play, seem to be quite completely different. There's no story, which is shocking. You've got such beautiful art and no story to go with it. Who are we? Where are we? What are we doing? Why are we doing it? It almost feels like Pepper Grinder, it's all show and no substance. If you dig a bit too deep with it, you realise there's very little there, it's very shallow of a game. So as a demo, it works for me, because now I know I don't want to play the game, because there's just nothing there for me. I realise that the tutorial is bad, the controls are bad, the they just throw so much at you. It's either going to be a really short game or it's going to get really repetitive later on. It's, yeah, Pepper is not for me. And in a way, the demo works because the point of demo is to play it and do you want to play it or do you not want to play it after finishing the demo? And for me, no, I don't want to play the game. The demo's done its job. Not a particularly great demo either. It says here at the start demo. But on the map, there was no visual cutoff. It just stopped. It was almost rude how abruptly it stopped. So, yeah, it's not one of their better made demos. If you bought the game, because I think it is out now, please let us know. What is it like? Am I right with my concerns? Am I wrong? It'd be interesting to know that. It would also be interesting to know if the real game actually had story and it was cut for the demo because then I would understand but as it is yeah, it's not really a demo I can recommend 
nor a game I can recommend. If you do get it, I do hope you have fun with it. Visually, it is beautiful to look at. But yeah, that will do. So until the next Demo Play Thursday video, or until I see you checking out some of the other videos, playlists, or YouTube shorts, or maybe I'll see you over at Kofi, as a small YouTube channel, you get no money from YouTube. But with Kofi, we can get PayPal donations, and we have a couple of subscription tiers as well. But wherever or whenever I see you again, please take care.